Today, we are visiting the Highmount Fruit Forest. And I have the luxury of living across the street from here. In fact, I saw it being put in by my neighbors, Brandon and Laura, and I was curious as to what it is. So if you don't know what a fruit forest is, I think they're doing something pretty cool. Let's go check it out and meet with Brandon. Welcome to High Mount Fruit Forest. The main thing that we're trying to do here is sustain ourselves as much as we can. And we found that we can really lessen our grocery bill by taking a, a small garden, it's called like a victory garden, and just trying to make it bigger. And then we supplement so much of our food that our grocery bill is like way smaller. Yeah. We started trying to do that back before economies and things started to shift and it's really been quite a benefit. So I'm, I'm always trying to encourage people to add a little garden somewhere, add something to supplement yourself because you'll get a lot of benefit out of it. So we've done a couple of things along here, <laughs> a lot of things. Right around uh, 2019, this was just a hill, mm -hmm. and Laura came out, was trying to dig a hole, she gave up. <laughs> I came out and started hand digging a trench, it got about five feet in a half hour. Bill comes up and says, you like to work hard. <laughs> well, I don't mind a little work. He said, how about I bring the backhoe up? So he was super helpful. Um, one of the nice things about this area, and it's includes you guys, it's just our neighbors are awesome. So we dug trenches and what we did is um, we created swales. So the idea was there's a ditch in the front, you can kind of see a little divot, and then a mound where we just took all the dirt and moved it over. And then on that mound we plant different things. Um, instead of mono cropping, it's uh, diverse cropping. So we've, we've got different trees, different bushes, different shrubs, trying our best to do things that'll put back into the soil as well as take out of the soil at the same time. That helps to sort of mitigate disease because if like our peach trees don't do so well and if we had all peach trees none of them would do well. The rest of our crops are doing fine so we're not we're not getting hit with like a disease spread or something by doing um, this kind of crop crop rotation. The figs and our persimmon trees do the absolute best. They seem, it doesn't matter what the weather has done, they've done something. And we've been, and they're, um, once they're sustained in the ground with a nice root base, um, all we have to do is really trim them back and just keep them under control. Oh look, all the blackberries. I miss those. There's a whole, oh, whole yeah, cluster you got some right blackberries. there. I was picking some yesterday. We're not, we're not masters of the craft, but we've, made mistakes and we've seen things change that we could always, we might know something that you're running, uh, someone's running into a problem or they want to do something, we could save them some hassle. <laughs> yeah. And save them a whole season of, well, that didn't work, but that's a whole year uh, gone when, you know, you could have maybe had some, some information. It's just such an interesting, you know, I'm still young, so, <laughs> ish. Uh, I'm not, I'm <laughs> saying I'm not midlife yet, but even now I'm, I'm learning stuff, so I can only imagine what what we'll go through and what kind of seasons we'll have and, and things in the future, which we're trying to prep for and not assume that everything's just gonna always be the same season, yeah. which is why we've just shifted and adjusted with what we're growing and what we're allowing to continue to grow and, and things of that nature. So this is just a, an acre, but we're doing an awful lot on an acre because half the acreage is our our home and where we live and in the other half so only half an acre is loaded with with food um, so i think it's really to to give us a chance to be in nature and to not have to rely on when the world changes good or bad we're a little more self-sustaining i think we're doing pretty well here it's just the two of us and um yeah we do pretty well here. 